Here we are, live again. This is take three, sorry. So I'm working on a ribbon pin and I just finished up the loops and I was talking about um, adding that pop of golden yellow with these loops really helped because these uh, polka dot ones, <laughs> they have more golden yellow in them and so it really needed a little pop of golden yellow throughout and that really helped. So there it is. And I hope everybody joins in again. <sighs> so frustrated with this. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Jamie, I love it. You're going to add some, some fun factor every time somebody joins back in and rewatches this. So here's the Fender right here. My GoPro Hero 9. He was very, very expensive. I'm calling him a, a he because he has to be a man. And he keeps cutting off every time I do a live stream. Now he... He is great for videos, for doing, uh, you know, video tutorials and editing them and stuff, you know, uploading them and blah, blah, blah. But doing a live, he's not so good. He's bad. So that's the offender right there. Thank you, Ms. K. I'm loving how it's turning out. I always forget which direction because it's the opposite of what I think. But don't you think it needed that pop of golden yellow? <laughs> I'm trying to get it centered. Where is it? Uh, there. So I think it really needed that pop of golden yellow throughout to really blend in with this. So what I was trying to say when that last one ended was sometimes the un you know something unexpected that you have to add in ends up making it look so much better. So I'm really pleased with how it looks. So much better than what I started out with. Yes, Jamie's our, our funny girl. I love it though, Jamie. I'm serious. I love it. I'm glad y'all can laugh about it too. And when somebody watches these and is so confused, they're gonna they're gonna see that and get a little chuckle. So I appreciate that. Aw, oh, thanks, Jamie. I don't either. I'm here too. <laughs> TJ. <laughs> yes, he's he's now a man. I'm calling him a he. Thank you, TJ. Thank you, Robin. Yes, well, at least you can get an up-close view of it now, so it's not as far away. And that light is really shining. I got my little, I had to move my ring light, too, from over there to over here. Otherwise, I'd have, like, a shadow going this way. Okay, so now I'm going to do the ribbon streamer, so let me move my camera. Sorry, you guys. There we go. And there's a glare. There we go. It's a little dark. I think I need to move my light back. <laughs> well, it's it's been rainy and stuff, so it's really dark outside, so it's not a lot of light coming on in here. Let me move this back. I'm sorry, you guys. knocking stuff over. That's better, isn't it? Okay, so I need to pull up the picture of the streamers so I remember how to attach them. See, when I get them all layered how I want, I always take a picture of it so I can remember. That's when I pre-cut ribbons. If I'm pre-cutting ribbons for a project like this, the ribbon streamers, then I want to take a picture of it so I remember how I want it. And I may change my mind and redo them differently, but at least I have something to go by. And of course, I can't see the bottom ones exactly how I did it. So it's kind of a guessing game. Yeah, that light looks much better. I can't believe how dark it is. So 
cut four of these. This is the number nine. And I'm gonna play around with it and see if I can get it like how I had on here. And then the golden yellow. I have no idea. I think I had it off to the side. Like that. Maybe. I think I actually had those close together. Okay, and then the purple honeycomb. That golden yellow is a 7 8 inch, by the way. Okay, I see a mistake already. See, this is why I take a picture. Because these need to be more on top because I need somewhere to put the stickers because she wants several things. Not a whole lot, but I want to get, of course, graduation 2022, which I'm trying to get that on the grad cap uh, custom cutout, but I'm not for sure if I can get that. Then JMU for the school and ECSE for early childhood special education, but she got her masters in that. So I want to get masters on there as well. So I need two ribbons at least to try to get all that stuff on there for her. I honestly don't know what I had going on the bottom. We're just going to try this. And I think the polka dot was underneath as well. Okay, it's not wide enough, that's for sure. I have no idea what I did. I had that there, that there, I dropped one of my golds, I had gold on the side, gold on the side there, then the purple glitter in the center, I need enough of that purple showing so I can put stickers, I don't need the whole width of it, but just enough to put some stickers and they can be skinnier words and then I'm going to put that right over the purple glitter so that's my plan I have a gold in the four inch tube but I got several this this past season and then now this one and I think it's the number nine I think that's what they were calling it but it's it's like a one and a half inch yeah. maybe even bigger than that Where's the ruler? I would look on the packaging, but it doesn't say. It's a little bit more than one and a half. But yeah, I thought this would be good on the peewees and stuff. To add a different texture in it. And then I've got burgundy and purple. Only because that's the only colors they had. But I also got the ice crunch or crunch ice, whatever they call it. I got it in red and white, or red, gold, and silver. Okay. I think that is what I need. Then I'll put this, something like that. Thank you, Miss Kay. I think that'll be pretty. I just need to cut the ends real pretty. Stuff like that. But I think it's pretty blingy. I used a lot of glitters on it. And then this double flower shaped diamond mesh is going to be really pretty. And then I'll probably do her name in a glitter or some kind of, you know, fancy. Either the metallic, I have the. the shiny gold metallic that I really, I used that on the USC one. I really like did it. So I could use that or the gold glitter. I 
don't know if you guys could see it, but I, I redid my, where I've got my sticky vinyl, like my permanent vinyl and craft vinyl. I have this giant bucket that I had, I was using somewhere else in my house. Let's see all that vinyl. And I recently emptied that out. Um, so I was trying to think, what can I put in there? And I really didn't like where I had my vinyl in one of these cubbies. They were all like stacked on top of each other. And I could never remember what was in there. You couldn't see everything. So I'm hoping with them up here, I can see more of what's going on. You know, I've got what I've got available and they'll be easier to get in and out and they're not gonna get smashed. So then I had to move some stuff <laughs> around. So uh, my shelves have changed a little bit again. I told you guys, I'll, I'll move stuff around like 50 times before homecoming gets here. Okay, I'm just gonna carefully take this apart. I'm going to stack them on top of each other so I kind of know what goes next. Now when I start attaching these to the backer, they're, they're going to end up looking different than what they did right now because they just never attach to the backer exactly the same. I'm going to start with those two purple ones. Then I have to decide how I want to cut the ends. I can cut the V shape or cut them at a slant. And then if you cut them at a slant, do you cut them this way like this? Or do you cut them like this where it's like at a point? So you just have to figure out what you want to do. So I'm going to cut a slant and I'll show you the two options. So I put them back to back and cut them together. That way they match up. So I can attach them where they're like that, where they're like one big dovetail or V-shape. Or you can put them this way and where it makes a point down here. So this is going to be what you see more on a ribbon pin, this point in the center. But you know me, I'm going to be different. I want to go this way. I just want to try to center them up and I'm going to overlap them just a little bit. I don't want any gaps in there. So they're just barely touching at the bottom. There you go, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's all like, any kind of sticker vinyl is in that bucket, but then my uh, heat transfer vinyl is down here, but also on this shelf. Now, next to it, I have that wine rack where I've got the big rolls of sticky vinyl and some of my heat transfer vinyl in that too. So they're right next to each other, and then down here on the bottom, I've got some of the extra heat transfer vinyl. So I'm thinking that's gonna work better having it all together and being able to see it. I'm hoping so anyway. So just like those purple ones, I'm gonna cut these the same way. Cut it a slant in it. Just cut it upwards. And then you can do either way. You can do them this way or this way. And I do like to change them up. Now, if you do this one where they're like this, which I need to trim that up. I just realized I cut, I attached one up higher than the other one. I doubt anybody's going to pay that much attention, but it bothers me. So, Okay, so see you could do a point on the side. Let me go ahead and do this one. I 
Thank you. Thank you, Miss Kay. I don't know if I told you thank you or not. Okay, let's see where I did that one. So you can play around with it and do different do it do them differently. But I think I'm gonna do it like that where they're all connecting up like that. Now you don't want to connect you don't want to attach it over the backer like this. See how that's going over? You want to attach it where it's inside the backer. It also helps to hold it up, kind of see where your ribbons are going to lay. And since I'm doing multiple layers, it's not as important if there's a gaps because they will get covered by other ribbons, but I don't want any huge gaps either, just to be safe. And if I need to cut more ribbons, if I don't like the way something's looking, I can do that too. This is just a starting point. Hopefully it works, but it's not a big deal if you have to cut more, more ribbons or not. down it's probably not gonna yeah see I've got a huge gap there and there but as you saw when you're holding it up you don't have those huge gaps so I do like to hold them up I don't always do that for my videos because usually it's out of frame and you can't see it but this is really what I like to do I like to hold them up before I really staple them do you TJ a V shape on the bottom of these and as you stack you can cut the, the ends all differently and make the ends all look different I do that a lot on um, the wrist mums or the ring mums and the homecoming mum I mean the hair bow mums the honeycomb all the way down the edge. I want it on the edge of that yellow ribbon all the way down. And the reason why I do two staples is because if you just do one, you can still move the ribbon around and it could get out of whack. overlapping just a little bit but I don't want the yellow sticking out I want the purple sticking out on the sides with the grow green ribbon you're gonna have to heat seal it or use some no fray or you know something to keep the ribbon from fraying I prefer to just use a lighter or to use a clear fingernail polish I have my hot glue go gun going and I haven't used it once. I think I'll glue these two ribbons on just to show you. <laughs> that one I cut just a little bit longer. Okay, so I want just enough to put that purple glitter ribbon in there. But I don't want these polka dots to not be showing, so I just want to be careful about where I'm attaching them. Okay, I need to go ahead and staple that. Then I'll add some hot glue on there too.
Now I'm going to cut dovetails on the ends of these two. I forgot to use my box. That light behind it, you can see through it. If that light wasn't behind it, then it's fine. And you could double those up if it was a big deal. That makes it a little bit darker. But over here where there's not a light behind it, it looks fine. And remember, I'm going to do a gold glitter right there too. So I still want to be able to see that and I want to be able to see that. So I don't want to cover those up completely. I just got to be careful about where I'm attaching it. For the gold glitter, again, I'm just going to cut a slant like that. I'm not going to be able to use that on the little delicate things because it comes out so much. But for attaching all the sections together of a mom and things like that, it'll be really good. But I'll probably have to have my mini glue gun going for little embellishments and stuff like that. Purple, I'm going to do a dovetail. I actually cut that too long. trim it off again. See how long that, I don't know if you can see. It's okay if it's a little longer, especially being the center one, but I don't want it sticking out way down, like almost an inch. And I cut these too long too. I was kind of guessing I don't like to glue these on the backer, where the backer is. So my backer ends right there, right there. So I want to glue them right under that. And the reason for that is, is when I go to attach all the sections together, I don't want this huge gap right here that I can't staple or glue down because I've got this chunky thing hanging on it right here. So whenever I do anything like this or any kind of beads or anything, I always glue them right under the backer and I'll glue like the first like three. And I've not had any issues with anything coming off. And you can actually do that after you attach your backer. It's really up to you. So I cut that way too long but I'm sure I'll use these somewhere on it as well. So 
So since this is double, I'll do the first four. No, I haven't seen that. I mean, I don't really pay that much attention to the curling ribbon. I have some big rolls of it, so I don't really look at their curling ribbon, but that sounds interesting. This thing must get really hot because steam comes out of the tip of it. And all I'm thinking about is that glue going on me. And there's all the glue. Well, it's going to swing around and go whichever way it wants, but that's okay. I just have to decide where I want this backer. And I've already cut a plain one. Thank you, Miss Kay. Yes, thank you, Jamie. Anybody that wants to look for that curling ribbon, that's a good tip. A good find. And turn it any which way you want, like I said before, wherever you think looks best. Yeah, see that? It looks dark to me with the light behind it. I think I like it like that with the polka dots on the sides. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Lamp will go over this bar. No, it won't. There. Oh, you like the polka dots at an angle? When I had it like this to begin with? <laughs> That's a good amount of ribbon on one spool, too. I know I don't like it like this. I think that's my least favorite. I don't know. It's kind of cute that way, too. <laughs> oh, there we go. Everybody says with the angle. So. so these are going north, south, east, and west. And I got to try to straighten those. So I'm just going to look and try to get that even with that middle purple ribbon. Very cute. Thank you guys. <laughs> I don't think there's a big, I don't think it would matter. I mean, I like it any of the ways. I think it would turn out cute, any of them. But I'm like you, I like things off centered and angled and stuff. I don't usually do stuff like straight up and down and stuff like that. help. <laughs> That's too much. That 
spotlight's just too much of a spotlight. Okay, so I put two staples in it to hold it in place. I feel like I should be putting a mum flower in there. Thank you, Jamie. Now I get to use, really use my glue gun. oozing out a little bit. Still haven't gotten used to how much glue it actually puts out. Now I have some pins that I like to use on the ribbon pins that just attach to the back if I can find them. I think I moved them somewhere and now I don't know where. Yeah, that's straight pins. I've got my bobby pins over here. This little drawer and then I've got my straight pins over there. That's true, it makes the mistake, it does make the mistakes more noticeable. If you off-center stuff and put them at angle, then your eyesight is going like you're, you're looking at that and you're not looking at each individual thing. I hate when I get glue all over this mat. So I cut this with one of my new circle cutters. I'm still trying to get used to them. I made it a little bit bigger than that to make sure it covered up everything. Oops, almost did the wrong side. I want the shiny side showing. Let's see, it goes over just a little bit. Yeah, I always move something somewhere safe and then I never find them again. <laughs> and I don't use them very often, so it's not one of those things that I should know where it is. I think it may be, I have a little, I have one of my cubbies is for mostly hair bow stuff, so I'm thinking that it might be in there. Yeah, I really feel like I'm missing something. You know, the mum flower. I feel like I'm making a mum and I should have a mum flower there. So I can do the tinsel or the tool in here under the um, custom cutout, but I want to cut that custom cutout first and see what it's going to look like and what it needs under it. And I'm only working with about two and a half inches that needs to be covered. So that custom cutout is going to be kind of small. Um, and I did some graduation caps that were kind of small but they were just plain graduation caps, nothing like written on them, so that's gonna be the tricky part. I think I used them all last year, last season. Yeah. So I cut a bunch of these in different colors and used a, I used them a lot, but see, I could do something like that in the center. But the ones that I remade, the, the cap kind of comes down to a point here in the center. And I did 20 and 22 right here. And then there's another one where, well, I think it's the same cap, but it's like hollow mostly in here, except for you can see the tassel. And I did 2022 20, right here. And I'm hoping I can cut that out, but it wouldn't be much bigger than this. And that's so small and delicate. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I'm going to try it. 
if it doesn't work, then I'll just do a grad cap and then I'll put 2022 somewhere on the vinyl. She didn't even have the, her daughter's name listed, so I guess she doesn't want her name on here. But with the school and then the degree she's getting and master's, I'm not going to have a lot of room for anything else. I could squeeze in 2022 somewhere if I needed to. But I'll probably do like the JMU and then the, the I forget what it was, ECSE. E so both of those and then like masters. And then I could still do 2022 if I needed to. <laughs> At least I'm not alone with the hiding. So I'm going to grab that hubby and see if they're in there. straight pins in here, like corsage pins, bottle caps, French clips, French clips, I don't know what's in here, French clips, I think this is bottle cap stuff, I used to make a ton of bottle cap hair bows. Hair ties, that's bottle caps. I don't think they're in here, and I don't know where else I would have put them. More bottle caps. I have more bottle caps than I know what to do with them. There they are, they were in the side. So these little pins. And you can get these at Hobby Lobby in the jewelry section. I got them online somewhere years ago, and when I first started doing mums, I actually pinned them on like that. I use these for the hair bow mums. Oh, yeah. Nothing like having a, a toddler in the house to move stuff around for you. We're way past those days. But Lucy is like a toddler in a lot of ways. Our big dog, there's toys all over the floor. She gets into stuff she's not supposed to all the time. We find her with stuff chewing on stuff she's not supposed to. She's found like bobby pins and straight pins before and been chewing on them. She, uh, she's a mess. Say it's like having a, I have a doggy daycare now, that's what I call it. So I just wanna pin that on like that. This is one of those that goes like, like that. Just a push one. Oh, that's a good price. Yeah, I've got, I don't know how many I started out with, but you can see, and I've had these for, when did I start? I don't even remember what year I started making mums, so it's been seven, eight years. Just put some glue like that that in the glue, tap that down. Now I like to go for a little extra security after doing that. So I'm gonna cut a little piece of white ribbon, white since I've got a white backer. Just literally a little piece. You can use soft satin, this is an acetate. Oh my gosh, Jamie. Oof, I can't imagine. Seriously, when they get that old, having another little one, I can't even imagine. You must have gone into shock. <laughs> Cuz 
Because when your kids become independent, you, and what I mean by independent, where you don't have to do everything for them, it's like a shock when all of a sudden you have another little one in the house. glued that. See it blends in really well. And that's just a little extra security. Make sure that pin doesn't fall off. So they just push it in and then pin it on. It's real easy. So I like to use that for the ribbon pins. And if I made like a really, like I made some mom and grandma little mini mini mums, that's a good option too for those. Or you can still do the loop and pin it on. I will probably put some of this, like one on the end of each of these purple ribbons down here. You could even put one here and there, maybe on here. So that's like little touch ups I do there at the end. I want to do the stickers first and see how much room I'm working with. I might put one in between the two sections of stickers. So I just I've got a little bit more to do, but not a lot. Like I said, I'll try to do a video on how I finish it so you guys can see how that ends up. But I'm really pleased and I'm and I love um, doing these lives with this stuff and you guys giving me your opinion about how you like things. So that it, that really helps. Oh, well, oh, Robin. I have two boys and a girl. Boys are actually easier, but everybody wants that little girl. I'm going to have to get my scraper back out here. And my, mine ages are a lot closer to yours. show you this little centerpiece I made. And this is one of the videos I got the voiceover done. I did a post about it and I thought it would take me a couple of weeks before I got it uploaded but I've already got it edited and the voiceover's done. I'm kind of ahead of schedule so I'll probably upload this one this weekend. Maybe for Sunday. Just a bonus video for this week. It's almost all Dollar Tree, except for the, the bow, this, and then a, the little, you know, like the clay, the floral clay to keep the styrofoam stuck in there, and, and the little floral picks that you can attach things to. That kind of stuff you can't get at Dollar Tree yet. They're starting to get more and more of that kind of stuff, but, you know, the, the, I like to call them the innards that you don't see. But you can get the foam at Dollar Tree now. Oh, thanks, Jamie. <laughs> well, TJ, are you going to give him a, <laughs> a little brother? <laughs> Look at us, all of us with these boys, all these boys. I got lucky with my sons. They were really easy. And didn't act a fool. Not yet anyway. And this took me about maybe an hour to make, maybe a little bit more. I had to stop and, and go somewhere and then come back and finish it. So I don't know exactly how long, but it didn't take me that long at all. But I finally got, I was glad I finally got an Easter thing. You know, I wanted to get a few handmade Easter things. And then I I also did a basket where I did a little arrangement, like a swag on the basket. And the basket's got an Easter bunny on it. It's in the other room where I grab it. But I'm also, I also did a video of that. So I'll do, uh, edit that sometime soon. But so far, that's all the Easter stuff I've done. I have a charger. It's like a tin colored charger that says happy easter in the center 
from Hobby Lobby. And I want to do something with that, but I don't know what yet. Because I got like four or five of them. <laughs> You'd have a house. Oh, that's good. Thank you, TJ. Oh, isn't that funny how that works out? The boys are the youngest and the oldest. I was done after three. I said, I don't care if it's a... I wanted a girl, but I said, if it's a boy, I'm still... We're done. Thank you, Robin. You run out of room in your house, TJ. Keep having, keep having those kiddos. It's funny that he's the one saying no more. Usually it's the woman. With these, I love these little tins. Last year, I got them last year, but I didn't have time to do anything with them. So I was one of the first things I wanted to do is make an arrangement with them. I still have like three or four more. I don't know if I'll do anything else with them, but I wanted to get at least one centerpiece up. I don't know how well the Easter centerpieces sell, so I don't want to make too many because then I have to store them. But I do want to do at least one spring centerpiece. I made, I know I sold one last year. I only made one last year and, and it sold, so I need to do some more. And I've got a bunch of flowers over here, like purples and yellows and pinks, some good spring colors. And then I have, this is left over from what I didn't use in that. So I can still do something else with these. I just get, you know, I get in the mood to, to make something like this and, and then I can just put them out. If I can just sit in here and not worry about anything else, I can just put these together in no time. But storing them is the problem. Well, I appreciate you guys joining in on not one, two, but three live streams today. <laughs> I keep wanting this GoPro to work better than it does. And I like that, you know, put it over here and you guys can see the room and stuff. Just to do something different where it's not like all real up close. Oh, Miss Kay. I bet you could make one. Well, watch the video. Get some stuff. I bet you could make one. Look how much glue is wasted off that thing. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that from this. I still need to clean up and rearrange up here because it gets, it just expands more and more during homecoming and so I really need to clean it up. There's a box right in the middle that I just kind of throw stuff in that I didn't, don't have time to do anything with or I don't know where to put it so I really need to clean up all this mess too that's on my agenda but this is looking a lot better I'm a lot happier with it over here with the ribbons and everything got most of the stuff up off the floor I had stuff all over the floor boxes all over the floor yeah maybe it seemed like it worked decent at the beginning when I first got it because I've had it a year I don't remember. I'll have to look back at those lives from then. It seemed like it just started doing this at, at some point and it's been doing it since. And trying to get help on GoPro. They finally res responded to some email I sent them a year ago. They finally, I got some kind of notification on it. And I was like, really? It's been a year. So they're not much help. You kind of have to watch YouTube videos and figure it out for yourself when something doesn't work right or you can't figure it out. Well, I appreciate y'all joining in and helping me. I mean, you guys should feel like you, you made this too because you are a big help giving your opinions and, and advice and just giving me some company while I'm crafting. 
It always helps, so I appreciate y'all. TJ, thanks for being an excellent moderator again, as always. I appreciate your help. But I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much. Jamie, thank you for making me laugh, too. I appreciate that, because that can get frustrating when you were doing the funny little clips. Um, that made me laugh, so I didn't get frustrated like I usually do. So I appreciate that. But thank you again, everybody. And for anybody that's watching later, I apologize for the three sections. But this is how many times has this happened to me already? So you should be getting used to it now that my lives are going to be in take one, take two, take three, <laughs> or part one, part two, part three. I guess I'm just going to have to keep doing Streamlabs, but I don't like, I like to be able to watch it on my computer separately too so that's a problem and I can't do any edits to the live as I'm doing the live stream so there's some drawbacks of doing it on here it is expensive yeah these are expensive little boogers but like I said it does really great video for all my tutorials it's really great for that so I'm happy about that I've come a long way from doing them on my old iPhone All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get off here. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And again, look for that video. I'm going to get it uploaded here in just a little bit. I have to do finish uploading it. I got most of it done, but I just need to do a couple more things and then I'll get it published. And it's, um, it's a mini mum. I went back through the cloud to see which video videos I'd made the oldest ones. And it was from last summer. I did the three senior mini mums that looked almost identical. They weren't for homecoming. They were just for the first day of school. So it was, it's pretty much start to finish um, for one of those. And I even did the, the loop chain that I made for it. I even did the tutorial on it as well. Even though I have a separate tutorial for it, I just wanted to do the whole thing, get as much on there on one tutorial as possible. It's like 30 minutes long. Um, but the the loop chain, almost the whole backer. Some of it got cut off, I guess, when I was video, and some of it got cut off, and it didn't all record. But I, the re ribbon streamers, getting all the sections together, attaching the flower, attaching the um, custom cutout, the trinkets, the bell, the bows, um, just all kinds of stuff. Like I have a lead garter. It was a lead garter. So most of it is on there, and like I said, it's over 30 minutes, so if you guys have time to watch that. I'll publish it here in just a little bit. So you got two things today, and then I'll give you that bonus centerpiece this weekend. So I hope you all enjoy that. And don't forget to comment if there's stuff you guys want to see. I'll try to record, you know, make some videos of anything you guys want to see. So I'm trying to upload some of the old stuff, the old Homecoming Mom stuff that I haven't gotten around to since, you know, the busy Homecoming season. And then trying to do new stuff like the centerpiece. So I'm just trying to do both of those. I'll go back and keep getting those old homecoming mum videos and then I'll try to do new stuff and I'll just alternate on which videos you guys get. But if there's something you want to see, I know you guys want the Harlequin braid. I haven't forgotten. I will get that done at some point, especially when I start really making homecoming mum stuff again. So be patient. It may be this summer before you get that video, but you will get it. I promise. I will show you all and I'll show you different versions of it because you can do it with different amounts of a ribbon so I will show that yes the shorts on the iPhone are good I use yeah I still use my phone for that for those little shorts but just imagine I used to have it propped up and trying to do those videos it was it was a pain but it got it it got the job done <laughs> Thank you, Miss Kay. I did too. I appreciate it. Appreciate you always being here. Jamie, you have been joining in a lot lately too, and I appreciate that. Robin, thanks for joining in. Um, Mindy, you chatted on the last one. I don't think you chatted on this one if you came back, but I appreciate you chatting. I did see it there at the end right before it cut off. Uh, anybody else? I don't know if I missed anybody else. I know some people don't like to chat, but just say hi. I mean, you don't have to be clever or smart or anything. Just 
just say hi to everybody. It makes it so much more enjoyable during a live if people chat. Okay, guys, I'm going to get off here. Um, don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell so you get the notifications. And please be kind with your comments, but don't forget to comment and share and like and be kind to others. And happy mum making and happy crafting, everyone. <laughs> no, TJ, you can do it. I know you can. You're ready. Yep. And we'll we'll do it over and over again. I'll put out a video and we'll do it over in lives and stuff. So I'll get you guys there before homecoming season. You guys will be making them like crazy for next homecoming. I promise. All right, guys. Thanks again. Have a good afternoon and evening.